Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. If you guys are new here, then welcome. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this lab coat, it's because I'm going as Rick for Halloween. So if you guys haven't seen my Rick costume video, be sure to check that out. I'll put it in the description. But for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I made my Mr. Me Seeks box here. And when I was looking online for how to make this, uh, because I'm going to be going to a rave for Halloween and I'm actually going to be using this as my totem. But I was looking online trying to find some videos on like how I can make one of these and all of them were like super difficult. They were like made with wood, they weren't like elaborate, they were just like really confusing. So I was like, I'm just going to make my own take on this video and I'm going to make one myself. Alright guys, so to make this Mr. Me Seeks box, we're going to be using six or seven pizza boxes. No, this video is not sponsored by Pizza Rev. I wish it was, but it's not. Um, so I use pizza boxes because they already kind of have that square shape that I can just cut out. So I'm just going to be cutting these out and we need six, six individual squares. Alright, and when you ask them for the pizza boxes, it's better to get them not made. You want them to just be flat. And then you're going to want to save these little pieces that you cut off because we're going to be using them later. Okay, so once you have your six sides cut out, it's time to add the details on the edge of the box. So to do this, we're going to be using these pieces that we cut out from earlier. And I'm just going to measure them and then cut them to fit the whole outside of the square. So before we glue these pieces down, we're going to want to paint the color that's supposed to be on the inside of the box. So it's kind of like a dark green gray color. So to do this, I'm going to be using this dark green acrylic paint and I'm just going to be mixing it with um, some black. And the thing about paint is that because we're painting six of these, I'm going to make sure that I make more than enough because if I have to try to go back again and and remix to get the same color I had before, it's almost impossible. So I'm just gonna be using mostly this and just a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna be painting all of these square pieces that we cut out. Okay, so while those are drying, I'm going to show you guys how I made these little pieces. So what I did is I took one of these pieces, the same width, and I just cut a diagonal shape into it. And so that way when you cut it like this, and like this, it makes the shape that you need. So you're going to need 24 of these, so 4 for each side, so 4 times 6, 24. And then to paint these, it's actually a lighter color than what I painted these. So I kind of ran out of green paint, so I'm just going to add white to this paint that I have. And then I'm going to paint all of these pieces, all of these pieces and all of my edge pieces. Alright, so now that I have all the pieces painted, I'm just going to be gluing on the edges and these.
All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to make this center shape. So for this, I basically took this original shape, which I used for these, and I knew that it just had to be a little bit longer, so I added about this much space, and then I just traced onto cardboard the top and then the bottom, and then in between, I just put you know one of these sizes like that. So let me show you guys if it's confusing. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean. So then I just cut out six of these. All right, so to paint these, I'm gonna be using this aqua green color. All right, so now that I got all these pieces painted, I'm just gonna glue them into the center of the box. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the button. So I'm gonna be using this circle dish and I'm just gonna draw a circle. Like that. So I'm just gonna be using a piece of cardboard about this thick and I'm just gonna be rolling it onto my finger. That way I can form it into a circle. And then I'm just going to hot glue it onto my circle like this. All right, so this is what it looks like once it's finished. Now I'm just gonna paint it light blue. Alright guys, so the last step is to just glue all of these pieces together, so I'm going to be using the hot glue, and I'm just going to be gluing all of the sides first, and then the bottom, and then the top. Alright guys, so the last step is to just paint all of the edges, that way it kind of cleans up all of the like hot glue or anything that you might have gotten onto the side. Alright guys, that does it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on my take of the Mr. Me Seeks box. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Alright, bye guys!